Hey fam, ever since Casey came out with those allegations against Diddy, his world has been crumbling. And now it seems like it is extending to his keys, his homes, his Miami and LA homes were raided by Homeland Security and two of his sons during the LA raid were seen in handcuffs. Okay, now one of his son's mother has come out speaking against his sons being handled in that manner and she wrote a long post saying how there was no need for the force that was used against her sons and that that force was very deplorable. And she went on to state that if these were sons of a non-black celebrity, they would have not been handled in the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize this innocent young black man is despicable. Enough is enough, she said. They just didn't need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest. Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young unarmed black men not make it out of this type of situations alive? My son's attorney, Jeffrey Lichman, is investigating the excessive use of force, which was unnecessary and certainly not required by this search warrant. We will fight for justice utilizing every imaginable resource. I'm not with the propaganda. I understand where she's coming from when she's saying the force used against the sons, her sons, was unnecessary. Was it unnecessary? Yes, it was. However, I feel like she should be directing these thoughts of hers to the father of her sons because he's the one that tracked his sons into the situation. Okay. But yes, this was very, it was very horrible. As you can see in the video, it is very horrible, the treatment they received. And yeah, this is definitely an example of excessive force. However, as much as Homeland Security did a horrible job handling this young man, Tiri should also be blamed for this because if it wasn't for him, all these allegations surrounding him, which people are saying are true, his sons would never be in this situation. And maybe the feds were being this excessive with these raids because of the seriousness of sex trafficking, because of the seriousness of the allegations leveled against Didi. However, the force they used against this man, it was very excessive and unnecessary. Especially because they knew that Diddy was not in that home when they were doing these raids. However, some people are saying this is pretty normal stuff during a raid. Okay. Some are saying she should really notice how she said this innocent young man, not Diddy. And she went on to respond to all the critics she was receiving. And she said, reading plus comprehension and critical thinking are becoming lost skills. Okay. And while we're still on that, Christian Combs is accused of sexually assaulting and dragging a woman in crazy lawsuit. And according to the Jasmine brand, who spoke exclusively with the lawyer of the plaintiff, and they're saying that there's a looming lawsuit against Christian Combs, accusing him of sexually assaulting and dragging a woman. In an exclusive statement to the outlet, attorney Tyrone Blackburn confirmed that these rumors are true that Diddy is aware of the lawsuit his son faces and Diddy's attorneys have also been informed. And Tyrone also told the outlet that he has photos of his client's injuries. And he also added that it will be filed in the coming weeks. And yeah, it seems like Diddy's son is being accused of the same of the same thing his father has been accused of. So I we don't know what to say with this. Also, it has been said that Casey is cooperating with the federal investigators Amid probe. It is really looking bad for Didi. Casey went and got the bag and now she's cooperating. And some people feel like Casey has been spiteful, that she was with this man for 10 years. She wanted to marry him, but the moment Kim Potter died and Didi said Kim was the love of his life, she then went and got married to the trainer moved on, ran out of money, filed a lawsuit and got the money. And this person went on to say, I'm not saying what Diddy did was right, but why wait 10 years later to say he was wrong? However, some people are still praising Casey for her strength, for telling her story. If it wasn't for her boldness, maybe all these things about Diddy wouldn't have exploded in the manner that they did. But I would really like to hear your thoughts on this, so do share in the comment section. Also remember to subscribe, like, share. Until next time, bye and thank you for watching.